will be moments when you feel weak. No question is asked. Life will happen in a way that you will feel vulnerable. You will feel sad, angry, depressed, hopeless, helpless. You will experience these feelings. If you haven't so far, I guarantee you, you will. But leadership and life that are both a journey of endurance, a journey of survival, a journey of growth for you and for people you care about, requires that you are strong. Why? Because without strength, you will for sure perish. At least whatever problems you're suffering from will multiply. They will become worse. Because weakness, giving up, surrendering, cannot solve a problem. Endurance solves a problem. Resilience solves a problem. Persistence solves a problem. Emotional, mental, physical, spiritual strengths can solve a problem. So strengths is non-negotiable when it comes to leadership and surviving the journey of life. Sometimes strengths is misunderstood. When we talk about strengths, sometimes people assume that we're talking about being in a complete, you know, state of positivity all the time. That you're always energized, that you're always on the go, that nothing shakes you from within. That you never cry, that you're always hopeful and cheerful. It doesn't work like that. That's not strength. That's not about being human. Strength is being a strong human being. And human beings feel vulnerable. Human beings feel weak, feel hopeless and helpless sometimes. Human beings sometimes wake up without any energy just to start their day. Human beings sometimes can't sleep because they're worried. Human beings feel sad and angry and upset and feel like giving up, feel despair sometimes. It's normal. And when you feel that, strengths require that you don't feel shame, you don't feel guilt, you don't feel that there's something wrong with you. That's what strength is about. Strength is about accepting that as a human being, you will go through the entire spectrum of feeling. But what do you do? Remember that I'm talking about feelings. What do you do? When you feel these feelings, and I guarantee you, as I said, you will feel them. What do you do? You do what smart people, healthy people, mature people, what leaders do. is You process this fe these feelings in a healthy way. If you need a break, you take a break. If you are sad, you cry. Or you take your own time to grieve. If you have experienced losses, you mourn your losses. If you feel vulnerable, whatever, you, you take time until you recharge yourself. Strength means acknowledging all these feelings that are a testimony to humanity and processing them in the right way. Because if you don't do that, you will be a crippled human being. Your entire journey of leadership or of survival and growth will be crippled and most probably you will perish because you need energy to pick yourself up and survive. Now, after you have processed these feelings, what does strength mean? Strength means you collect yourself back again. You bring yourself together. You rearrange your priorities. You start taking care of yourself and of other people. You go back to doing what you used to do before, and that is to survive and to grow. You find windows of help, of hope. You assume your responsibilities, your duties towards yourself and towards others. Remember, I'm distinguishing between feelings and actions. 
So you feel the feelings regardless of what they are, even though they're negative feelings. But when it comes to action, you do what's necessary so that you process these feelings, you heal yourself, you cure yourself. You pick up your spirit and your soul again and you go back to continuing your journey. Your journey of leadership, your journey of growth, your journey of healing, your journey of contribution, your journey of your responsibilities towards your company, your staff, your family, your employees, your society, your neighbor, your kids, to whoever, whomever you care about. So never feel guilty or ashamed because the, you go through, sometimes you go through moments that you just don't want to see anybody anymore. You just feel, you know, you can't even get out of bed, that you're completely devastated. Do not, don't even go there. In fact, in your own way, cherish these moments because they're a testimony to your glorious, gracious, beautiful humanity. That's what strength is about.